Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here, and we are back with Court Arms Gates of Hell Ostfront, Hardcore USSR slash Russian Conquest, and it's Operation Day 8, and we are back on the defence. So we'll quickly go through our research. Anything we got different was we upgraded to the supply truck, so we've got obviously that option for towing, weaponry, and resupplying infantry armour and weapons. We'll go through our deployment. Um, we did sell all the German stuff as well from the last match, obviously, because we're sticking to the Russian equipment. So wave 1, we've got the Dushka. Two squads of guards, medic and commissar jellybean, as always. Wave two, we've got 220mm mortars, two supply trucks, PTRS detachment, and the tank crew for salvage and support. And wave three, we've got two T28Es, the big guns, one's a, vet a more veteran crew. We also have a guards rifle squad with some vets in there, grenade rifleman, and two Soviet ammo crates for a bit of ammo, but also for the two infantry, because we can sneak them in there. And the map, obviously, is up here. Two star risk, 300 manpower, fire munitions, and it is on Ol Olkhov Atka. So I think that's the one with the streets we played earlier in this actual campaign. So it's a really cool map, so it should be a good, fun battle. And I'll see you in combat in a moment, gentlemen. And here we are in combat. So we'll quickly review the objectives we must defend. We have objective A over here, more central, in this kind of small part of the street here. Bit of fortifications around it, quite a good position, quite a lot of open terrain in front of it. We will have to be careful here as the enemy could try and push across, but we do have this large ditch here. Kind of like a tank ditch to be fair, like a natural river, but that'd be effective. It actually might be a tank ditch that they've dug, so that's really cool. And we also have Objective C over here, another um, kind of part of the street. Fairly open fields around it, so we can take advantage of that as well. So we'll get straight into our deployment, wave one and wave two. And we're quickly going to hook these mortars up to the trucks if we can where's the mortars get them hooked up get them hooked up and what we'll do is we don't know exactly which one's going to get hit so we'll get one guard squad up here and one guard squad here we will get the dust get around here somewhere i think this will be useful over here and the trucks are the mortars are coming to the trucks the first one's going to set up over here somewhere and the second truck once he's ready we we'll set up there the tank squad's going to go back here somewhere come aside jelly beam will go to point a Medics will arrive and split up between both points. And we do have a grenade rifle squad. They're going to come up here as well. I believe that's everything. The second truck will go to this position. And this actually, these buildings actually work out quite nicely. It is the place we attacked last time. I believe we were attacking... Is it the place we attacked last time? Yeah, I think we were just fighting over here though last time. That would make sense, I believe. Yes, because we defended around here, I think. But yeah, over here these buildings have kind of made natural cover so we can set the mortar up somewhere around here behind the buildings and it can blast the living crap out of everything coming up now there is that trench line there we could set up really far forward problem is the trenches are facing this way and we don't know where the enemy is going to spawn from so we best stick to the objectives for now obviously the tanks will come in the third wave which is fine the mortars have enough, probably have enough ammo to completely blast the enemy so if we set our troops up in the buildings around here plus the mortar support we should be fine and then down here, I'm thinking the mortar will set up around here, or around back here, and if we set troops around, the mortar should be able to chuck out tons of ammunition, and the T-28s will set up in a kind of responsive element, and we should be, we should be fine. The Dusker actually might come up to the front here, covering these large open bits of terrain if the enemy infantry does try and break through. I doubt this will succeed with a heavy, heavy 120mm mortar. We'll set him up here, which is a nice spot. We have the medic here as well, we'll set his tent up just back there. Mortar's going to set up in a nice spot there. Let's um, let's sandbag him up. Fantastic. So he's going to be in a good spot. I do have some infantry here. We're going to start breaking them up. We will get a couple of guys straight away set up on this building. Oh, the, L L the light machine guns on there, actually. Um, that's not a bad spot, actually, coming in that open position there. We'll get a few guys set up in this building. A couple of guys will set up. We will... Um, We'll just set a couple up in here as like a backup. And two more guys are also going to join this team. Really set up in the house. Make take advantage of it. And over here, this mortar. Let's set him up. I think we there is an open road there, so we've got to be a little bit careful with sad set up. We don't want to be in the middle of nowhere. Actually, what we can do, it's gonna sound a bit crazy. If we get the truck, it's a bit of a tip for people. You can drive through terrain, obviously. If you want to get to a bit of terrain where it'd be nice for a, like a weapon to set up. A bit of cover, just smash through with the um, with the vehicle, and then set the mortar up there. For instance, here there's a lot of sheds, a lot of high fences around. It's actually pretty good for us, so we can set up quite well. We are going to set a few troops up in this building, um, straight out of it. We'll take one of you off actually. 
A um, couple of you, three of you are actually going to set up. We're going to start digging a couple of you in just at the back here, just in case they try and breach. And we don't have that much infantry on this map. We didn't bring that much. We kind of put it into tanks and support. I probably have to unlock call in stage four soon because we are getting a bit tight on what we can bring in. And we've got those guys digging in. And then these last two, if you want to set up in this building, and the mortars are going to be lifting a hell of a lot of weight on this one. I'm hoping, 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 hoping that can do the job. And what we'll do is we'll actually get the guys out of the trucks, makes the trucks less of a target, and it gives us another body that can dig in and help defend the mortars, which is fantastic, in my opinion. Um, yeah, we have quite a good setup though here, which is not bad. We're just getting dug in there. I think we'll be fine. Mortar's not in a bad spot. The tanks will be coming eventually. The tank crew, just stay back there. Medic. Oh, we've got this medic. Whoops. He's chosen the one wrong. Let's get him up here and set his tent up around here somewhere. Get inside your foxholes, gentlemen. You have dug them. You might as well use them. There we go. Good stuff. And, oh, we've got the grenade rifle teams and stuff. We can set them up back here. Just Oh, it's anti-tank rifle team, actually. Um, yeah, these are more... The anti-tank's more of a backup here, anyway. Just have him ready to defend the main road. And we should be able to bring the tanks in pretty soon. But there we go. First tank's going to come up here as quickly as possible. Second tank, I'm going to set him up. I don't think where's a good spot. I think in... Oh, a bit of a glitch there. Yeah, we'll set him up kind of... I think open terrain over here is not a bad spot. Set him up where the enemy's going to kind of come into us. We'll put one ammo crate down there. And one ammo crate's going to come up here. Where's that Dushka, by the way? Where did I put him? Dushka, Dushka. If we set... There's a lot of trees and stuff in the way there. It's not a bad spot. If we set Dushka kind of up on this crossroad here and this crate that's going here can set up near him just give him a lot of ammunition and there is oh there's another guard's rifle squad so we'll bring them up to the center and we'll split them up to the and there is another this is the grenade rifle team so we'll bring these up as well these he's been digging in support well, let's take half of this squad straight off and we'll send them these are actually going to dig in probably around here and the other halves will go up to here and probably dig in. We're actually going to try and cover this central position a little bit, or at least dig in around here. We might have to dig into the south a bit more, just in case they do try and cut through the fields. But the mortar should be enough to completely obliterate these opponents. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. Tanks are moving into position. Infantry's on the way. Good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. It is a bit slow, that one. It's going down the road. Speed 23. They are not very fast. I think these ones are a bit heavier as well, so they will have less speed with the increased armor and stuff. Commissar Jellybean here, he's going to hold the point, do as he does best, take command, then he can just hold there, and you can get away from the point. And there we go, we're fairly well set up, I think. He's in his position defending. It's just waiting for the opponents to arrive. Making use of the buildings is cool, I do like that. Um, we'll split, split these guys up a little bit. Um, let's get you in that opposite window there. Nice. Some good defensive positions. Right, what we'll do is we'll dig a couple of bodies in here. Just in case they do try and push up the flank. We've got some guys ready to defend the mortar position. And these other two, if we get them kind of set up over here. Dushk is there. Where's that ammo crate? Is he coming? That's this one, isn't it? You set up there. Oh, crap. The entire... They're coming from the west. Well, that was not expected. Um, I hook the mortar up. Oh, no, getting the, getting the truck. We'll hook the mortar up. What we'll do for now? Is we'll keep the tank back here. Is he in the truck? Good stuff. Quick get in. Right, bring bring the bring the mortar up straight away up here. This tank, if you want to manoeuvre him, kind of around here. Just be ready. We'll get the other mortar straight up there for support. These guys with the Dushka, he's fine. Yeah, and you two are going to come and spot up here as well. Get up there quick. So that was a bit of a... It's thrown us out a bit there. We'll get the grenade teams up there as well. The tank is set up to sport. Actually digging a bit closer up here if you can. Again, the enemy is upon us soon. They're going to be upon us. Start digging in. The tank's in a responsive way. Where's that mortar? The mortar's being redeployed. That's why it's good to have these supply trucks. And we'll quickly jump this mortar out and just set him up there. Looks like they're coming straight from the south, kind of south way. I thought they would have come more from the west, so for me, eh? And there we go, MGs and stuff firing. The mortar should be in range there. Can the mortar see him? 
Start firing, guys. Come on. Kick in. Kick in. As soon as you're ready to put some sunbugs down, let's get you out, eh? And there we go. Mortar just absolutely battering the crap out of them. Love it. Yeah, these grenade rifle teams, for now, just dig them over here. They can defend the best, best as they possibly can. Oh, this, uh, this ammo force, just have them ready when you need them. These infantry, <coughs> these are the, the extra bodies. For now, just to bring them up here and we'll spread them out as needed. Or you can join them in this building, do it. Mortar's kicking in now. Lots of bodies moving in, the mortars and the MGs are just going to shred these guys. Well, that is a lot. Is they the, the fins, I believe? Yeah, the mortars are going to start taking, taking pains on them. There we go, the mortars are just absolutely blasting the fins to pieces. As is the T28E. That Dushka is ready in case they start trying to push this way. Just be ready. Can you actually see over there? Let's see how far you can shoot, eh? Screw it. Oh, I'm getting some hits from Dushka from, rip, from distance. Reload, reload, reload. Let's see if we can get some more kills. Long distance Dushka hits. My god, the mortars are just destroying them. Holy Christ. What we'll do is we'll actually get these guys off this crate. We don't really need it at the moment. Just jump into these foxholes here to support the infantry. Yeah, you guys there, if two of you want to get onto these points, and then you there, if you just want to take cover. Um, take cover there, defend the flank. Lots of infantry coming in. I think the mortars will be best to start concentrating on. They're actually coming through the water, which is kind of insane. And the mortars, once again, just decimating. Decimation of the enemy troops there. Holy Christ. I like how they're swimming. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, trees getting demolished. Infantry being killed in mass. Look at that. That is actual carnage. That is horrendous. Just bodies everywhere there. Poor fins. Poor fins. That is... That is not good. That is literally blood in the sand there. Blood in the sand. The mortars are just taking chunks out. How much of the supply they use? They, they're getting through a fair chunk of it, but that is why we've got the supply trucks to just keep them going. Who the hell are these? Who the hell are you two? Get in cover, you idiots. Not seen any armour so far, touch wood, which has been fine. It's good. T28 is just chilling. Yeah, we move him there just so he's ready to engage as needed. He's in more of a backup position. It might actually be a wise choice to try and get him around here. Can you move through? Yeah, move him through the cover and just set him up there. That's fine with me. He can be like ready to support. Quite a uh, strange attack. I was expecting more armor, but then the Finns have appeared instead of the Germans. Oops. These guys are doing some good work there. Heal if you need it. But yeah, very, uh, very chilled out. Very chilled out. More fins coming. Mortars should be kicking in. That an MG. Just keep firing. Keep firing those mortars. 120 mil mortar is insanely powerful. They, oh my god! Just killing five or six in a single hit. The enemy has got poor space in here. And the T28E now chipping in. I'm going to take over this a bit. The MGs alone are just going to cause massive casualties. Holy crap! Enemy infantry stacking up. Kill them, kill them as they run. Just literally cut them down. Whoa, that is some enemy. Enemy tank gun. What is it? Oh, it's an enemy anti tank gun, yeah. Is he there? I've lost him. He's over, he's over there somewhere. I just can't see him very well. Old Crush. Oh, I think the mortar just hit my own troops. Fall back, fall back. Get out of there, quick. Get out of there, get out of there, quick. That is not good. Friendly fire, friendly fire. Definitely not good there. I like the, the multi turreted tanks just firing a ridiculous amount of machine guns out. Fantastic. Whoa, is that the AT rifle thing that was? Well, it's just there, is it? That's brave. Him there. There we go, he's down. Good kills. Mortars are still firing. 
Pull back to the inner defence line there, gentlemen. Getting to cover. Let them have that building. It's already taking some pretty bad damage, so it's not a problem for me. Well, we've got enemy... Ah, B BT-42, Christ, quick. One of the most dangerous tanks in the game. It's 114mm main gun. Yeah, we're going to have to be quick here. He just fired at us. What did they hit? Where is he? Where is he? Searching targets, searching targets. Whoa, someone just fired at us. I can't see him. Where is he going? He's there. Crap. Reload, reload, reload. Reload quick before he reloads or we're stuffed. He's only got light armor though. Crap. No, the armor piercing. If he shoots us, we're dead. We are actually dead. Quick. Move, move, move. Load, 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 load. Got him, got him, got him. What the hell's moving in? What is that? A T26. Load, load, load. Where is he? Where is he? Pump the target. He's there. Load, load, load. Get, get front facing towards him. Crap. Got him. Good kill, good kill. Reload, reload, reload. Let's finish him off. Stuff. Is that another tank or is it just infantry? Just infantry are fine. Pull back a bit, pull back. That other tank is actually going to come up and support now. That BT 42, what did it actually fire at? Um, well, there's a big crater there, so I imagine there, because it's done some big damage. Mortars are just absolutely destroying. They might be a bit too powerful, but normally I stay away from some of the powerful stuff, but this is a fun campaign. I've not spammed, I've not run down the KV line or anything, but I do love the 120mm mortar. I didn't use the mortars that much with the US or the Germans, so now's my time. <laughs> God. I love the 120mm mortars. You'd have to put a lot of resources into them though, and they do chew through supplies. There are some downsides. That BT 42 captured them. Where's the tank crew? Down here, I believe. Get prepared, gentlemen, get prepared. Okay, though, I don't think we took any major losses, just that building being hit by our own mortar. Look at the friggin' mortar craters all out. That's all, pretty much all mortars. <laughs> that is insane. What's that? So he's got 23 kills, he's got 72 and 1 on vehicle, so that's probably the older one, but my god, the crews must be elite by now. They've got to be like better and they've got to be getting there. And they are chewing through supplies gradually, but. They're still fairly well armed. That's what I love about these um, mortars. They do kick out a lot of rounds. What the hell? Oh, it just cooked off. Wow. Crack a little bit. Little bit. But t 28 is doing fine. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> there we go. We've got... What the hell is that? Oh, is that... Is that... They've got 120mm mortar. Some sneaky little gates. Right. The first bombardment. He can probably fire it anyway. Ooh, it took him out. Holy crap. Jimmy Cricket's right. Who's got anti tank grenades? He's destroy that mortar before they rearm it. Get up there. Your name is Timo Fee Holy crap. Mortars, engage at will. Engage at will. And they feel gun sighted. Moving in. Oh crap. Enemy MG. Here comes the mortars. Rounds away. Rounds away, I repeat. Rounds away. That is a lot of field guns and crap. Oh, the moly. There we go. Rounds are hitting. They're doing some good kills. And they take... Right, mortars just fired this gigantic amount of infantry there. I mean, literally a ridiculous amount. Mortars should be hitting. My god, that's a lot of equipment. Mortars are coming in. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. That, that may have been about 8 or 9 in one shot there. That was ridiculous. And they're running straight into the T28. And the mortars are once again smashing into pieces. You know what? Load incendiaries and then bombard. And then load incendiaries, then bombard. We'll lock your ammunition so you can't switch and I just want you to bombard with incendiaries continuously. So now we've got incendiaries hitting the position, this is what I like to see. There we go, just cook that equipment until it's all dead. 
no mercy, no fear. I want to see bodies burning, I want to see everything dead. Look at that. <laughs> oh, 120 mil mortars are god to you. Holy crap, how would you even hold there? Oh my god. Literally on fire. Immolated bodies. Whoa. Oh, that's so close to cooking him. I think one of them's not using his incendiaries because he's an arsehole. Probably French. I'm going to switch in lots. Keep firing. Your job is to cook these fools. Cook these fools. Oh, there's another one there. Start cooking. Start cooking. T28 eel. Oh my Christ, we just got hit. We need smoke grenades. We need smoke grenades now. Smoke grenades to deploy. Smoke grenades to deploy. Where's the mortars? Mortars engage at will. Engage at will. Use those incendiaries. Cook them. Cook them. Get out of there. Get out of there. Go back. Go back. This one actually used a mortar against us, that's brave. Right. Yeah, unlock the shells. Unlock the shells again. Starting back. Is that the 55 centimeter mortar? That's the pain in the arse one. Big mortars versus small mortar here. Rapid fire against mass fi massive fire. Just bombard. Look at the actual shell craters and stuff there. That's a lot of equipment though, that's cool. Holy crap, we still got the gun system, I almost forgot. He's okay now, put him back. Let's put him back for a bit. These guys are going to fall back to the crater. Or the, the sandbags. Oh, he just got back hit on him. Oh, that just got a direct hit. Jesus. Keep firing, keep firing. Oh, big hits from the T28E. Keep in, keep in. Oh, thumbs down. Oof, not quite. They're getting there though. They're getting there. The mortars are just carnage against them. They're trying to counter mortar and counter artillery. To be fair, if the Finns bought the big, gun, big guns, they could probably do it, but if they brought a lot of armour as well, they might have pushed through, but this has turned out to be a perfect matchup, to be fair. He's got a fast fire weight rate though, that thing. Until the mortar hits him up. Still not hitting him. He's doing me nothing now. Oh, these are getting clipped slightly. Quick, get into cover, get into cover, get up, get into cover quick. I think, oh, the mortar just counter battered him. Like, literally ripped him to pieces. Good stuff. I think most of this stuff's up for grabs. It's pretty good. Uh, we'll start repairing the T28E. We've got a tank crew, that's in. Let's get one in there. It's a six man crew, actually, so we'll just hold for now. Mortars, though, have completely annihilated the enemy. He's got 50 kills. I think that's his first match in. That's insane, to be fair. Some good kills. And it is just carnage. If you look at that battlefield there, that is just mayhem of how much stuff is left. Just mortars, bodies everywhere, just just horrific. And there's the odd infantryman trying to break through. He's actually trying to get on the gun, that's brave. Brave yet very foolish. He's literally ripping the battlefield to pieces. We don't respect that. Oh man. Well, the Finns are Still pushing from somewhere, I don't know. Like, the other side's not even been touched. We've got the 50 caliber just in case. Just in case you need it. The infantry's sat in there, ready. But they pushed very hard from the south. Um, I'd say more south and southwest, they came directly in. If they'd had armour, it'd have been the Germans, they could have literally broke through the flank, but the heavy mortars just proved too good and just completely butchered them. The best chance probably the BT-42, but they drove it way too forward. They should have just sat back and just blasted the crap out of the objective. Maybe they'll change the AI in the next update with the DLC coming out. Might see some improved AI. Field guns could have been got better as well. They could have held them back and just blasted us with them. Probably a better chance of uh, killing us. We will start sending a few troops forward. 
um, to uh, start capturing gear. We'll also send the T28E to support them as well. And let's send a few of these bodies up, a few of these guys up. Send these ones, I mean, start sending them forward. There we go, we've got enemy enemy forces, enemy MG. Take cover, take cover, quick, take cover. Oh, there we go. Where's those mortars? Holy crap, that's a, literally a field, field gun. A massive howitzer sat right in front of us. Are they insane? You don't bring up a howitzer that close. Lunatic. Keep going, keep going. Got to punish this level of stupidity. Here you go, he's decreased. Send the T20 eating forward. We're going for it. Right, that's the crude, I think. More still firing there. Right, stay down. Just actually push up and circle around. Where's my tank crew? Over there, get them up. Get them up here. Yes. Oh my god, there's an. Stop blasting that son of a gun. Bring that T28 around. These guys, if you can, bring them up. See what you can see. Yeah, they're diesel MG, those machine guns anyway. Make it clear for the infantry. Really? Oh. Oh no, we've got too brave, too ballsy. Keep firing, keep firing. What? There's another artillery piece, holy crap. There's actually a massive Alex over there, right. You guys, rush up. Is he dead? Saying it's still alive here. Oh, the MG's done. Look, there's more up there, right? Push up to those howitzers quick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You guys capture some of these while we're down here. We can always turn them on the enemy, keep them busy. Run, sprint as quick as you can. Um, um, what was I going to say? Start crawling. Oh, you're basically down at this point. Actually, these can start pushing out quick. Are they up behind him? Right, frag him, do it. Or kill him, do it. Why aren't you shooting like a lunatic? Just spray, look, you've got an SMG, lad. you got no bullets, crap. Yeah. Oh, there you have. Jump on there. And then, you guys. One of these is going to jump on there. Oh my god, there's so much stuff to capture, it's insane. The rest of you keep pushing forward and deal with that gun system. Oh, there's one for the M MG as well. Get it. Get the max in. And um, that should be enough. Uh, we don't really... Uh, he's, he's repairing it anyway. <laughs> What's going on? What the hell are shooting at us? I'm literally confused. Where are they? I don't know. Well, we've captured quite a lot of stuff. We're going to take the BT. Has he disappeared, literally? I don't know where it's gone. Alright, that's fine. Oh, he's just there. We found him. Push up quick. Push up. We'll frag him. Hopefully, you truck the mains to it. Do it quick. Oh, it's a 120mm like field howitzer. Holy crap. It's a big lad. This is going to be epic. Shoot him! Are you serious? What the hell are you doing? You actual morons. I'll take over. She's stupid. Mission accomplished. LMG down because he's a moron. And then we're going to get the... Where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? Oh! Can you jump in that yet? I'm just gonna wait till that's stolen. Actually, the tank crew, you can jump on. There's a Maxim, and these is. There you get that. It would destroy my tank crew, but who cares? Like, we've got enough, you know, we've got enough resource to rebuy a tank crew. Jump in that, and we've got tons of salvage on this one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Mortars proved worth the weight in gold. 
and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. And you guys, oh, can we get up to that? That doesn't matter. You guys have, oh, no, we'll see you in the rearmament screen in a second, actually, now I think about it. You still got to do it, the casualty screen, I keep forgetting. The 229 the infantry killed, we only lost 13 of our own, six vehicles slash a place for strong, and lost zero of our own. So, I'll see you in the rearmament screen in a moment, gentlemen. And here we are at the rearmament screen. So we've got 853.9 manpower, 1.2 sports stars, 1,187.5 munitions, and 2.5 research. And we will just unload everything. I will show you if we are going to sell. There'll be a few things we're obviously going to sell. I think we have enough points to go down the T-34 line, but we'll just show you. We're basically going to sell off all this equipment. I know some people are like, why? But we're sticking to Russian stuff. I know some of it is Russian, that the Finns have kind of repurposed. But that will give us huge amounts of manpower so we can really just go crazy on stuff that we want. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching everyone. You guys have a fantastic evening.